Hey. All right. Hey, guys. Welcome. We're in the R&D lab. We are. Cool. Really? Yeah. We're here. We're here. And we're, we're completely Better garbed out. You look at this. Up. Make sure everything buddy buttoned up. I buttoned all the way up to the top. We, they, they even made us put the mask or the, the, head, the, the headgear head on and everything. Yeah. And, and the gloves. Yeah. I, and I now have a medium and a large. I used to have a large and a small. That's, it was, that was uncomfortable. It was a little odd. Okay, welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, yes. Um, I'm looking at different cameras, sorry. Okay, we're in the R&D lab. Dr. John, Randall, here we are. Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to talk about how to make the best tincture ever. 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 It's going to be good. And it's, it's odd because we had music going. We had it blasting. We did. Moments ago. And then it went away. If you're here for the first time, don't forget top red button. You can just hit if it's a frozen screen or whatever, just hit that reconnect button and it won't bounce you out. Anything it will just refresh the screen. That's good. Introduce yourself in the chat. Get there. Uh, ask questions about tinctures. Um, we're here. This is a fun and safe place. Um, make sure you introduce yourself, who you are and where you are in the process, whether you're a farmer, a chemist, a processor, a co-packer. Uh, whether you're in R&D, whether you're formulating, what are you doing? Uh, right. Let us know. Right. No holds barred questions. You go ahead and ask anything, um, simple or tough questions. Join the chat, invite your friends. There will be a replay. There will be a replay. There will be a replay. So I know, Dr. John, you've got, you, you, you've actually got prep. Yeah, we do. We, yeah. Have, we have some prep. Okay. You look so serious. Yeah, yeah. It's, oh, it's, my it's gosh. Good. I, I, I have been working on this tincture thing since 6 o'clock this morning. <laughs> been blowing it up it's, yeah. it's gonna be good we got uh hey can you guys pan to all this wonderful stuff we got here look at the, look at this we got uh, it all set up it is so cool we got, we got isolate we got distillate we got flavors we got existing tinctures here i'm it's terrified gonna, i'm gonna break oh, something i don't know it's, it's it's gonna happen i'm gonna break That's something all right. it's all right i'm yeah. totally gonna break something okay. all right so i'm going to let you go oh but wait 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 ICBC virtual event, Adam Young in Colorado Springs. Congratulations. You are this week's winner. Uh, Jared will reach out to you. Do we know what he won? What did he win? Oh, he won a grab bag. He could, oh, a grab bag. bag? A grab bag. Sweet. I think you put it in this large glove. Hey, I put think. some gloves in there, will you? <laughs> we'll put some PPE and some gloves in there. <laughs> Adam Young, Colorado Springs. Congratulations right. at the ICBC virtual event. We're good. Okay. Don't forget, re lots of resources, live tours, CBD jam sessions. We're, you guys are lighting it up. You're asking us a lot of really cool questions yep. on those jam sessions and things. Uh, advanced extraction guide, distillate guide, calculator library is live. You guys, it's live. Oh my god, they've been burning it up, burning yeah. it. Hundreds of people on there, so it's been it's been great. And we're we're adding the and uh, mini courses to come. Yes. So good. All right. All right. Dr. So uh, yeah. So let's uh, let's get into this. This is probably. Uh, one of those uh, one of those sessions where we're, we're it's kind of more Lucy you see uh, so I only oh, like not I only have the three, others were <laughs> I only have like three slides and a couple tables oh awesome yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah, it, they couldn't I, see you I know okay I, I was I was showing you my eyes glazed overlook so. how do I get how do I get my wonderful presentation up here because people are going to be excited about these calculators if they're at all making tinctures and then we're going to get into some, some tasting and then we're going to make our own. You're going to make me taste the bad stuff. Oh, I'm going to make you taste it. No, I'm going to make you taste the good stuff. I got, oh, good. I got, I got cuts. I got cow leaf. I got holus stuff here. Okay. Remember it's last week you said, ooh, this is horrible. Taste this. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. That's, that's what I'm expecting. Okay. Uh, number one, number one, guys, uh, if you're going to make your own tinctures, you got to make sure your biomass or your CBD oil has been decarboxylated first. Okay. Otherwise, it's, it's not going to be able to be absorbed into your body. Um, just to let you know that. So what that means, I didn't know that. Yeah. What that means is that you, you need to bring it through a process of decarboxylation. So, um, you know, whether if, if you have a distillate, it's, it's very likely already decarboxylated. Almost all of distillate is decarboxylated for sure. Okay. Um, if you have just like, for example, some, uh, some, some biomass, you're going to want to kind of warm it up. You're going to want to cook it at 150 degrees for about an hour. That'll decarboxylate it. Um, or if you have some crude that ha you've taken from like an ethanol tincture or something like that, you're going to have to remove the ethanol and cook the living daylights out of the oil. 
Okay, so that that and that that will basically decarboxylate it. Okay, so okay. first step in making a tincture obviously is de decarboxylating either your biomass or your CBD oil. Just so you guys know that it's very important. Otherwise, they're not going to be. There's going to be what they call malabsorption. Oh, yeah, not going to be very good. Okay, if you're using CBD oil, you can follow a recipe that you create using our kick calculators. Kick calculators. Kick. Kick. calculators Kick. yeah they're really great uh if you are using cbd biomass you need to extract it so we're going to go over some of those calculators and then once you have this wonderful uh oil of mm -hmm. some kind and we'll go over different ways to make that of course you guys there's different ways to do that um then then you can calculate your dosage using our dosing calculator okay so this is going to be a lot of fun and then step forward obviously is enjoy it right? awesome so that that's pretty great that's that's, that's, a small that's my list. favorite part there's a small list. Okay, so a lot of people ask us in the past, you know, what uh, what CBD should we use in tinctures? Should we use isolate? Should we use distillate? Should we use winterized? Should we use broad spectrum ethanol? All of them are perfectly fine to use in a tincture. It's just you might get some uh, different uh, different things uh, happening with that. So, like for example, with isolate, isolate is the most straightforward one to use within a, a tincture. Okay, and um, um, what's nice about it is that potency is pretty high, but it doesn't have any terpenes. So you'll have to add some of your terpenes that you gather up in, in a different process uh, and you need to add those in. I'll, I'll give you an example of what that looks like here. Here you can see th these are pure, uh, pure terpenes. Uh, they, come, they come from a decarboxylation uh, process, which is essentially uh, vacuum distillation. And so they don't they don't have any THC or CBD in them, but they are, they are straight from the hemp plant. They have all of the a full spectrum of, uh, of, of terpenes there. So you can add those into your isolate to make uh, like dabs. You can add them into your isolate to make- They'll uh, smell well, great. They smell crazy good. Crazy so, good. Um, yeah, so terpenes, um, there are some, you know, sometimes with isolate, depending on what isolate you are, uh, you know, extracting from, typically you will always have some miners in there. Like if it's 99% pure uh, CBD, you'll probably maybe have 1% miners or, you know, and when I say minor cannabinoids, I mean CBN, CB, CBC, CBG, you know, some of the miners will also be in there, but they're very, very trace. They're very low, low level. They're just because of the way isolate is processed, you do have a residual risk. So I'd be very careful about that. I am a total anti-residual anti type of person um, so the way that it's processed with nonpolar solvents and stuff like that, I, I don't, I don't like it. So I don't prefer an isolate tincture. I prefer something more natural, but a lot of people use it because, um, you know, like if you use a crude or winterized or broad, broad spectrum, you're really talking about the natural flavors of the plant in there. So, you know, um, you know, a lot of people want to mask that and, and overpower it with like a, a strawberry flavor or a chocolate flavor or something like that. Uh, people also use distillate and when you use distillate and you're in manufacturing you just have to correct for you have to know how much uh, cbd is in your distillate right mm -hmm. otherwise you wouldn't know how to dose it and i'll show you in a calculator that we put together for manufacturing and what that really means so just suffice it to say it does have some of those minor cannabinoids it does have some of the longer chain longer longer isoprene the larger um uh the larger terpenes in there so yes it does have some terpenes in it but it doesn't have uh, the more volatile ones, which are the diatries, uh, things like that. Um, and then residual risk, if, if you, there's always a residual risk with distillate. We've, we've done a pretty large study on, uh, you know, um, distillates and, and you, you do see some of those residuals making it all the way through the distillate, even if they are volatile organic uh, solvents. So, um, but it's, uh, it, it really varies about 25% of the manufacturers that we survey their distillate had some sort of contaminant in there. So when you buy distillate, you just want to make sure that, uh, you are basically contaminant and solvent free. Um, and then winterized decarboxylated oil, um, 50 to 70%, of course, terpenes. Yes. You got lots of terpenes in there. It may also have some miners in there. Um, you're not going to have a residual risk if you, if you are using CO2 oils, and you're using food grade oils that don't have residuals in them. You might have a uh, ethanol residual though. So you wanna make sure that that's all taken out of there. Um, broad spectrum is basically a THC free distillate. Um, typically you would take the distillate and you take the THC out of it. You do that with either chromatography or solvent techniques, one of the two. Um, you have to decide which one you want to use. Um, 
you know, we, we use chromatography here because it's more clean than uh, using a solvents. So we try to stay away from acetone, heptane, hexane, or anything else that's going to uh, get into your body with unknown consequences to the, to the endocrine system or to anything else. You know, you're, you're trying to get to the point where, um, where, where we're not taking and eating chemicals. We're trying to do that. You That's know. a good thing. Better living through chemicals only applies if you live in the laboratory. Um, and then uh, <laughs> ethanol extract, yes, you can do, we're going to show you how to make a tincture, like uh, with an ethanol extract. A, 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 the definition of a tincture is uh, essentially an ethanol extract, okay? It's, it's, or it's a, uh, if it's, it's an active with, uh, in, in ethanol. Okay. And most people don't like to have tinctures like real tinctures because mm -hmm. they burn, you know? Oh yeah. Yeah. Alcohol. They, yeah. They, burn, they really burn. They don't taste very good because they're overwhelmed by the burn. So sure. a lot of people don't, um, you know, for example, you know, make tinctures, but they are medically used all over, all over the world. Sure. So, and, uh, in the pharmaceutical world. So, all right. So that's the type of CBD used in the tincture. Which one is best? Um, I think that they all, you can see that they're all, um, they all have different, different things to bring to the table. Like the isolate would be used if you want to have overpowering like berry flavors and things like that. And you don't want to have any plant flavor in there. If you want to have some plant flavor in there, um, you know, you're going to have to either uh, hit the distillate, the winterized oil or the broad spectrum. If you're not going to want to have any THC in there, you're going to want to use broad spectrum. Um, winterized is probably the best or crude oil could also be used. And that's the, the closest to the plant out, obviously. Okay. So you can take winterized oil directly out of, or I'm sorry, um, CO2 oils directly out of crude or directly out of a CO2 extractor that has been pre decarboxylated And you can use that right in your tincture. In my view, that's the cleanest possible, but you're also getting a lot of, uh, plant, uh, plant flavors. There, there's a good flavor, but it's a lower potency it's, also. Yeah, it's a lower potency also, but you can make it, you As can you, make the potency however you want because you're diluting obviously sure. with, uh, with yeah. oils. So Got it. That, that's what that is. And so basically what's awesome about this is that if you have, you know, 50 flavors, you have uh, different types of isolate, you have, uh, you know, different types of uh, terpenes, really there's a lot of different combinations. This is where um, CBD formulation gets a lot of fun because you're able to test and try, you're able to come up with something unique. There's, uh, you know, any, there are 100 factorial different, you know, different combinations. So your combination can actually be unique. It, and it, it, you know, if you like it, people like it, they'll taste it and they're like, wow, this is really great. Huh? So yeah, we've, we went out, we, we bought a whole bunch of tinctures, we tasted them. Some of them were like, you know, au natural. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and they were a little bit tough uh, from the standpoint, it just didn't taste very good, right? So we. We, I always kind of like, okay, I like the, I like the stuff that tastes really good. Yeah. And I do like the natural hemp flavor too. So that, that's just my bias. Um, so what's a, does an extraction method for CBD? Uh, why does it make a difference? Well, uh, just to, just to, just to summarize it for you, you have purity is important. Unknown and known residual solvents should be avoided. So this, this is where, um, if you're on the market and you're buying, for example, uh, crude oil, you're buying distillate, um, and they give you a report that says, "Hey, this is this is really great." I, I would I would double test that um, because I, I I don't trust residuals. Your laboratory will not test for unknown residuals. That's a big deal. And if it's not on their list, they'll say it's pure, well, it's clean, it passes, well, and that's a problem. I I think it's a huge problem. It, it is a problem. It most definitely is a problem. Okay, yeah. because you know there's just an infinite number of things. What if I use something that wasn't on the list? You know, like. Yeah. Methylene chloride or dimethyl batshit. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> dimethyl batshit. Do we have that? Okay. Yeah. Or and organic is better. Organic is better. It is just this because um, you know it it's it's made with agricultural practices that that don't use pesticides or uh, insecticides, and uh, so you, you're really reducing or eliminating that risk. So, hey, uh, anything you can do to make your CBD tincture the most healthy tincture possible is the best way. Absolutely. Period. You know Absolutely. I mean? And the residual Why? thing, I mean, I, I agree with you. The residual thing is is bad, and we've talked about this in ad nauseum in previous right. episodes. Yeah, we have. We've talked but, a lot. But if you're taking multiple doses a day of CBD or a tincture or taking that over time, oh, my gosh, you're, you're ingesting 
way over the limit that they want right over time right and that's just bad stuff right right exactly I mean, well yeah and they don't have any basis for the limits in the first place yeah so there's there's you know there's no studies and so their their modus operandi is interestingly enough oh we don't have any data on it so 5000 ppm is okay yeah. you know that that's you guys have heard me rant about that a lot mm -hmm. I, and you know whatever yeah. you know does it actually happen in practice though the answer is yeah it does all the time yeah it does we 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 got a whole bunch of extracts. We got a whole bunch of, you know, distillates and stuff. Yeah, we see the stuff in there. You can see it. Yeah. Look, we, we analytical chemists. We can see everything. Yeah. Okay. We, there's no hiding. Yeah. And we've so, got, by the way, we've got chemists from Europe. We've got chemists from Ohio. Congratulations, woo. Nicholas Ed, Edgaris. Hopefully I said that correctly. Uh, and we've got Barney here. I mean, we've got questions coming all over the place. So thank you for being here. It's awesome. Right. Thank you. So anyway, so that's that. I think, um, let me see here. So people always want to know how much to take. Okay. So it's based on body weight. It's based on delivery method and it's based on that condition that's being addressed. Okay. So, um, you know, like for example, with some forms of epilepsy, I know that, uh, you know, the dosage is quite high, mm -hmm. like really high. Wow. So, um, what's cool about the cannabinoids is that you're not going to die from it. Yeah. Okay. Nobody has ever died, for example, from, uh, from a, cannabinoid overdosage that I know of. I don't think that there is, uh, yeah. if someone knows, please yeah. put it in the notes. <laughs> yeah, that would be interesting. But, uh, you know, people have died from alcohol. People have died from other things, but they haven't died from that. You could, you could be, you could be, you know, you could be uh, taking so much of it that it, you know, you would, you would have an adverse reaction. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying dying that would, from it. That would be, be a mal reaction. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so that would be a mal reaction. Okay. So let's get to some calculators and then we'll get into the fun stuff, uh, which is basically uh, sampling and mixing crazy. Awesome. So let me see here. We're, it's on the website. <laughs> Technical. We're, 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 mo we're moving it. And, and this is awesome, by the way. Um, uh, also, as, as we're going, you know, one, there's a couple of questions that were coming in uh, as we're moving to the calculators. Um, and that is, can you process just with pressure or do you need to process with a solvent? Um, hmm, I wonder what that means. Uh, it's, t it's tough to understand what that means. If, I mean, okay, we talked about methods last week. Yeah. Okay. And methods are basically you have your technique plus your temperature and your pressure conditions, right? Mm. And that's put, putting those together with a piece of equipment that has been calibrated and has operating procedures and trained personnel. That's a method. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, if you are going to talk about different ways to um, change, you know, like for example, I could I could increase the pressure or I could decrease the pressure. I could change my solvent. I could use a different solvent. Sure. Um, yeah. Th there's, there's lots of different options for me. So yeah, you look, there's the sky's the limit when it comes to, uh, when it comes to making your different methods. Sure. And All right. And we can talk about that. Um, uh, and, and for Barney, if you want to watch the last episode we did on processes, and things that would be awesome it's right. in our blog and you can connect there or on our youtube channel right. uh that would be good um and then we're talking about um i think we addressed some of these where you get all of the cannabinoids and flavonoids in the processes and where they are and what they would need. yeah yeah um yeah so okay so yeah we can we can talk about that i'll talk about that as we're tasting and perfect stuff like that so. all right all right good 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 well, thanks for the questions by the way all right, so um, look here. Uh, here's our calculators page. You can go to our website. Uh, calculators are at the top. And then uh, scroll down. Um, scroll. Scroll down. How do I scroll down here, buddies? That's just a pointer. I know, but I'm, I'm looking to scroll here. You got the whirling circle of I, I do have death. the one. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see here. Do you want to try it? That's fun. Okay. Uh, also, uh, again, um, it's really good to see you guys from Europe, from all over the country. This, yep. is, this is good stuff. And um, we are going to announce our topic later in the show. But if you have any topics you want us to cover, let us know for future episodes. Um, and, you know, maybe there is a prize in it if you Absolutely. guess what we're going to do next week. Because yep. I'm, I'm held, I'm been 
bound. I can't speak right. until later on the show. Right. So we're good. I still am terrified I'm going to break something. Oh, that's all right. Hey, you know what? We can do the calculators later. Look, I can just look. It's it's. There's some technical difficulties that we're having, which uh, it does happen. Actually, it's, this is the first time that that's happened over all of our podcasts. Oh my gosh, I have technical difficulties in my brain all the time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Well, let's let's. I will narrate them, and then we'll then we'll take it from there. How about that, guys? So hey, uh, so what I'd like you guys to do it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'd like you to go to the calculators page. And if you scroll down to the bottom, there's two calculators. One is a dosing calculator, and the other is how to manufacture a tincture calculator. Okay, and I'll, I'll go through the dosing calculator first. Let's just kind of, you guys open that up. Yeah, and by I'm the gonna, way, it's I'm gonna do it from memory. extractlab.com, E-X-T-R-A-K-T-L-A-B.com forward slash calculators. Right, 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 right. Okay, let's do it. Uh, okay, so uh, let me see. The dosing calculator, let's talk about that one first. Your, the dose that you would have is really dependent upon the weight mm. of your of the weight of your body. Okay, so um, if you put in the, your pounds, how many pounds you are, uh, you have to convert it, if you're in Europe, to kilograms. Um, I think it's just divided by our time 2.2, I think so. Oh. Um, and that'll give you your kilograms weight. Uh, you need to put in your weight in pounds. So that's, uh, let me see, it's, uh, so if you're 200 pounds or 100 pounds, you put that in there. And then you all then you decide uh, what what uh, dosage your um, tincture is. So if if there's a usually the tinctures are about thirty milliliters, okay, and um, and they have usually they're about thirty three milligrams per milliliter or thirty three milligrams per serving, and a one serving is typically right around one milliliter. Okay, um, yeah. So uh, you have to put that in there, and then um, you push the calculate button. You got to put in some stuff and it'll tell you how, you know, basically what the maximum amount you have. Um, it'll tell you what your dosage is for high, medium, and low dosage. It'll tell you, uh, for example, um, what is your, um, you know, how many milligrams you would take per day. It's got a whole bunch of figures in there for high, medium, and low dosage. So how are we doing, James? And and we're we're close. One of the things that are is our technical difficulty is we are in the R and D lab. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a that is a and, and we switched it at the last minute. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, and, I, and so we've got usually in the other studio we've got you know plugins and everything, and now we're going kind of Wi Fi. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so all right, I know that that's part of the issue. All right. So and, and quick quick question. Yeah. Okay. So when we're talking about body weight, mm -hmm. um, my weight is about one sixty five. Right. But when you add my Ego, it's about 300 right. pounds. Okay. It's like <laughs> All right. three clicks. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the calculator that's up is the wrong calculator. Did you know that? <laughs> oh, you didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't know. True. What do we do when we See, I just when I, when I mention those kinds of things, you know, <laughs> I, I'll know whether he's paying attention to me. <laughs> he didn't hear a word I said. No, I didn't. <laughs> I did not. This is, uh, that's when I get away with so much shit. I can't even tell you. <laughs> Man, why didn't I ask a really good question? I don't know. Hey, okay. I've got a really good client who needs a discount. Okay. okay. Sure. He, right. he hears that. I hear that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Let's just skip this because it's not working. So, all right. We're going to skip it. Sorry, guys. I, I, all, okay. that, all the calculator mango that I did this morning, it's, uh, it's all there for your enjoyment. So, go ahead. Take and explore it, and uh, and we'll, we're we're just going to start trying out some things. Okay, now, so, so. No, what this means is this is rather than the calculator, it's just trial and error, and I'm the guinea pig. Am I the test? You're the test. Oh. You're the test. <laughs> thanks. So, okay, just so all of you guys know in the room here, thanks. Okay, all right. So let's let's do some tasting first. Okay. Um, so this right here, here, there's some different tinctures here. That's a, that's a holist tincture right there. This is a holist tincture. Yeah. What does it say? Like it says mint. key lime. Key lime. Okay. We got strawberry. Okay. I'm going to try a strawberry. 16.5 milligram serving of key oh, lime. This is, oh, this is a brand spanking new. Okay. This is kind of interesting. You see if you can take a look at this. So, uh, you can see this is almost clear. It's got a slight color to it. Um, let's see here if you can see that. And then, um, yeah, it's, it's, see, it's strawberry. So let's see if I can taste it. All right. 
this is typically what you do is you hold it under your tongue to keep for, for like 30 to 40 seconds i hold it for two minutes it's it's better two minutes yeah two minutes okay. i can hold my breath for two minutes i won't do that now <laughs> actually it's kind of funny watching people take huh. tinctures <laughs> i know i thought i'd just go oh key lime you know what that needs what a little mango, a little tequila. Arrow. <laughs> <laughs> a little tequila. <laughs> That's what that means. You know what? If we we are going to be so relaxed in like an hour, if we if we sample all these, I don't think what? we can. No way. Oh, no way. Challenge oh, challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then try the mint. Then try the mint. Try the mint. Try the mint. Good. Oh, this is okay. That other one was sixteen. This is thirty three. Okay, so this this is mint which, which one is sixteen? You said. The, the, oh, this is sixteen. Yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, sixteen. Oh, that's that's sweet. So this is this is nothing. So this one is a OG Kush. So this one right here is cuts. Um, this one is made up with uh, terpenes, like natural terpenes. So um, yeah, let's try it. All right. And I'm the main... oh yeah, you can see the difference. I mean, it's oh, definitely got definitely got a lot. Um, oh, you're gonna also like it's that. got a nice little graduated cylinder. Oh, that's same the, here. Look at this. See that? That's pretty sweet. Look at that. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to take much. I'm going to take a quarter. A quarter? Quarter. Yeah, yeah, just a quarter. Is a quarter Ooh. two bits? You know what? That's definitely got some... Oh. Tastes great. Mmm. What do you got? Mint. Try that one. Oh, okay. Try that one. Ooh, that's got flavor. Does it? That's I'll terpene. That Does it really? Oh, yeah. It's got mint and terpenes? Mint terpene. A full spectrum hemp flower oil. Okay, here, let's check that out. And it's uh, heavy duty. Oh, this is, this has got 2,000 milligrams in this bottle. Ooh, yep. I told you. Didn't I tell you? Yeah, it's good. It's good. Oh, it's got that mint with a little bit of, oh, yeah, that, yeah that is. But it, 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 there's a good aftertaste. Yeah. It kind of blends on the tongue and just kind of grows right under the tongue and just kind of comes and gives your tongue a hug right with terpenes so okay like so it. so there's a couple different things you can swallow these tinctures uh and it'll go into your gut basically um and uh you know it'll it'll kind of um it won't be metabolized as fast right it'll go th it, it gets metabolized through the liver if you take them sublingually basically it gets absorbed um you know under the tongue and uh so you have to have a carrier for that and that's why typically alcohol is used because it's a good carrier directly into your blood bloodstream and there's some arterial a uh, blood that goes right under the tongue and it, and, mm. and it has a di more direct way of getting into your bloodstream so um yeah oh that's good yeah oh that's good yeah oh and look certified pesticide free no it, reason this is a grape ape too this is a grape ape this is a pretty good one grape I, ape yeah grape ape that, that's a Do you cannabis, okay cannabis now that ages me because i remember grape ape <laughs> grape ape that was a great thing what grape kush you see, this has got this has got more like a a, a real cannabis flavor well, and with, a, with with no um you know with no um let me see no 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 like berry flavor or mint flavor. It's just straight up you know OG Kush. Yeah, it's great. Well, the other thing with this, two thousand. The good. other thing with this one is it it's it's got a, a thicker viscosity almost mm -hmm. on it, a little more oil based. I like that. Ooh, mango sorbet. Oh my! Totally gonna try that one. Yeah. <laughs> You're on a mango kick. I, I like I like berry flavors. What can I say? <laughs> berry, berry. All right, here Grape we go. Ape. I'm gonna try it. Grape ape. <laughs> I wonder if I'm gonna get any work done this afternoon. Boy, we got we do have work, don't we, Randy? Hmm. Wow. I t I taste it. It's definitely has the mango. It's very smooth, but it definitely has it. Definitely still has that cannabis background in it what oh this one again it just kind of there's this little grapey flavor just slight it's not like drinking, overpowering it's not like you know drinking a shot of welch's <laughs> right but but then it's just slight and then all of a sudden the terpenes just kind of kick, kick you yeah bam it's pretty good bam Okay, I think we've had enough. We're going to fall asleep. Right <laughs> I think we've had enough. Oh, we're good. All right. Well, thanks. We guys got, at, we got uh, some conditioning. Are you kidding me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, all right. I'm, I'm looking at uh, questions here. Good. Yeah. Uh, Maxim, thanks. Good, guys. Good. 
uh, Barney. Cool, thanks. And look for that. Uh, the blog will have a lot of that on there, Barney. So just make sure you look. Right. Um, Matthew, uh, good to see you. Richard, good to see you. Uh, let's see. Questions. Um, <clears throat> and I think there's a great opportunity to connect. Yeah, there's one of the things that we have been noticing uh, on our sites just because of this dude here. Um, we have a lot of PhDs and chemists on staff, and we speak chemist. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we, we kind of do. Yeah, for us, you know, business and sales geeks. Yeah. It gets old. Uh, it never gets old. I'm sorry. Did I say that out loud? You did. Yeah. Did I have too much yeah. CBD? Um, <laughs> I'm relaxed. I don't care anymore. <laughs> oh, good. See, now. <laughs> this is awesome. But I think we need to do some... Uh, very like this one was very good for chemists yeah. and i think the only thing that we didn't get to were the calculators but go your chemist you explore right yeah do r d go yeah. to extractlab.com calculators right. and find those calculators because yeah. they're awesome yeah and in the blog we have several posts how many white papers have you written on distillate and that would be very chemist specific mm, boy um how many white papers well we did or we did blog posts we did guys i call our blog posts blog right posts here. And then uh, there must be at least, we wrote, uh, we have at least 40 pages of white FAQs. Yes. Which are, you know, are very digestible because they're just asking Okay, and just so you know, so. the FAQs are not like a one or two sentence answer. Okay? <laughs> I mean, they're exhausted. <laughs> I mean, it's a white paper, okay? Yeah. We make, we make uh, white paper the, FAQs. <laughs> I think I've seen citations on some of those. Yeah, our guys go, can we just make this into a blog article instead of an FAQ? I'm like, oh, yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, but, but leave it as an FAQ because people want to know this answer. Yeah. All right. Exactly. All, All right. right. Now, one, a couple of things that I wanted to show here just because it's cool. Um, you know, we got beaker, beaker, beaker. All over the place. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's okay. good. No, yeah. We beaker, do. beaker, beaker. Okay. So there's some really cool stuff. So why would you use this? Yeah. Or well, these little, those are cool. Those are volumetric flasks. Yeah. So these are volumetric flasks. Mm -hmm. Okay. I apologize to all the chemists out there, but those who are not chemists don't know this stuff. So yeah, let's, let's make some stuff here. So let's, oh. let's, Let's do some okay. stuff. Let, let's make it. Okay. All right. So what do we need to do? Uh, well, okay. I was going to start off with just, uh, just kind of an ethanol extraction of some, of some, uh, biomass. Okay. Okay. Cause a lot of people who want to do DIY stuff at home, yeah. <laughs> they might have some biomass and they take need some water. No, no, no. That's fine. I just here. Oh, okay. So, so uh, first thing you do is you start off with some Everclear. Just take a shot and then start. Yeah. So you buy it and you take a you pour a cup. <laughs> this is, <laughs> The reason you start off with Everclear is that uh, it's a food grade uh, alcohol. It doesn't have a lot of water in it, and um, you know you, you're not you're not dealing with residuals you, except for uh, like a lot of alcohol. Okay, right. and it is going to extract the um, you know the, the biomass. Okay, um, a lot of times what people do is they'll they'll take um, some biomass, they'll put it into a jar like like this. Okay. And then they'll pour the Everclear in there and they'll let it sit for, you know, a week and they'll, they'll stir it. Yeah. And uh, they won't really get, it, it's not very efficient technique, so you're not going to get out a lot of the CBD. Or, okay. So you might just continue to put some more uh, Everclear in it. Um, usually you want to start off with something a lot smaller. You can also, um, by the way, this is from our own farms. Uh, that worked out pretty good. Um, this right here, shout out to Nevada Crest Farms. Uh, these guys are in Nevada, obviously. Um, they, they had some pretty good blend that they sent our way. Oh, Nevada Crest. Hey. hey try, try that out. Try shout that out. out to Nevada. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it smells great. Oh, that smells really good. Yeah, yeah, it does. And Nevada Crest, they're looking at expanding their yeah. facility. Yeah. <clears throat> Eli just talking to them. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool, sweet. Yeah. All right. So we're going to take some of their stuff and we're going to... We're going to take and do a little bit of an extraction. So we're going to put a little bit in here. First of all, you see, this is called a Buckner funnel or a Buchner funnel. Um, and it has a uh, paper in there. You can see that. That is a filter uh, filter paper. You put that in there. And then you have like a little apparatus, uh, which is a, this is called a sidearm uh, vacuum flask. You can buy these on eBay. You can buy them on Amazon. Or uh, you can just not buy them at all and use like a coffee filter or something like that. You yeah. know, that, that would be fine as well. Um, and so you put a little bit of, usually you want to wet the paper a little bit. So I'm going to take 
This is not normally how we would do stuff, but we're gonna we're gonna do this DIY here today. So we're just gonna pour a little bit of that on there. Gonna wet that paper. You smell that? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. You all remember Everclear in the Wapatuli College days. Put a little days. bit of that in there. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put a little bit of that in there. All right, this is great for like pre rolls and things like that, um, and or you can just extract it straight out. So usually, what you would do is you would know, for example, the potency of that, and then um, you would measure out the amount of alcohol you would be extracting it with. It's you still wouldn't really know what the end extraction would be, but you can make some assumptions. Say if you have like 50% recovery or 40% recovery, mm -hmm. then you can kind of calculate, okay, I have, I have uh, calculate how much is in there. So here we're just going to add it in. And you can see now this is, this is a really great illustration of the issue with, uh, with, with ethanol extraction. And that's because now all that biomass is sucking up all of our alcohol. Okay. So you need a lot of it in there. And now we're just gonna kind of roll it around there. And you can see down here, there's a, we're getting a tincture out. Yeah. Now, a lot of people wanna just soak it. That's fine too. Um, this, we're just kind of doing this on a short term. And then we're gonna try, I'll let you try it. <laughs> be, You're awesome. Yeah, it'll Thank be great. You. It'll be great. We're gonna get all those terpenes out of there and, and stuff like that. So while that is cooking, okay, <laughs> we're gonna put this over here. That's, that's what you would do. And um, you can put it into a jar and then you can decant it and filter it off. And this would be considered to be a, a tincture, uh, kind of an all natural tincture, okay? Oh, yeah, so you can see it's coming down. So now when you do this, uh, approximately, you know, if we do this, if this is, you know, what potency typically would that flower be? So that would be t either, you know, anywhere from five to 15% and most likely right around 10%. Okay. Yeah. So if you're doing it this way, yeah. how much CBD will come down? Yeah, not a lot. Not very not, much. Not very much. I mean, it, it, you, so you maybe get, most of it is stuck in that, in the matrix there, you know? So that's why a lot of people soak it for a long time. Okay. Um, you know, so again, DIY, uh, do it yourself at home, get a bottle of Everclear, but you can see there's, it's definitely pulling, oh, pulling yeah. some out. Yeah, okay. it's very green. It's yeah, cool. Yeah, I can't wait to taste it. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna taste it. And we're gonna taste it like real soon. Yeah, yeah. as soon as we get this. All right. So and okay. then um, let's kind of go over some of the flavors. I was gonna kind of show you guys some flavors here that we have. Um, you guys can pick up um, any kind of flavor you want. Now these these okay. Let me just talk a little bit about terpenes and what what makes a difference with terpenes. Okay. Not all terpenes are equal. Some terpenes are, are synthetic. Some of them are, say, fruit derived. Um, and some of them are steam distilled. Some of them are solvent distilled. Um, and some of them are, like I said, purely synthetic. And some of them are also derived specifically from, say, hemp. These ones come straight from the hemp plant. They're, 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 not, uh, they're not cut. They're, not, uh, they're, they're just natural. Sure. Okay. So this is kind of what you want to have if you want to have uh, you want to maintain that hemp flavor and that hemp taste and stuff. In fact, these terpenes right here are some of the terpenes that you that you um, that you tasted in this OG Kush. Okay. Okay. So those are the OG Kush terpenes right there. Okay. So that's one way to so flavor. So when you say that it's you right use that stuff plant. to flavor your you use that stuff to flavor your tincture. Is this is this like when you say it's right from the plant? That's pre. It's pre-processing. Pre-processing. Pre-processing all together. Yeah. So right. you would use a, a, a terpene trap. Yep. And uh, and with that that terpene trap would allow you just to just to basically take the terpenes directly from here, and and get them into there. Got it. Okay. So that, that's the terpene trap. We have a product that that does that for our because customers. Because a lot of people do that and capture these post extraction. Yeah, but they're not good. They're not as they're good. Horrible. Yeah. 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 So these we call angels yeah. tears, right? Yeah, they, they definitely are angels tears. And it's That's, good stuff. So you it, want it right from the plant. Yeah. If you do it afterward, uh, in other words, ga gather those uh, these terpenes up afterward. They just taste. They're horrible. They mm. don't. They don't smell good. They don't taste good. Mostly because you have to really cook it in order yeah, to get it out, right? Sure. So, and it's been processed like three times already by the time it gets out, and so they're degrading and all that stuff. So, you want to make sure that you have some good, uh, you know, 
nice terpenes. So, Got it. Um, we also, uh, so that's one, one particular flavor. I would consider if you're going to make a tincture for, um, you know, that's based on hemp, you'd want to have a little bit of those terpenes in there. Okay. So it would taste, you know, something like the hemp plant. Um, some of your clientele, however, is just going to like something like the whole list products. Like, um, I mean, I couldn't taste any, like the key lime or the strawberry mm -hmm. or the mint. I mean, there, was there any hemp in those at all? Terpene there Was, a little bit of, was yeah. there a little bit? Yeah. Maybe I didn't taste it. It wasn't as strong as it was in the... And in some of them, they were, they were stronger in some than others. Yeah. So the strawberry one, I couldn't taste it at all. Yeah. So maybe that's just like yeah. almost free of, mm -hmm. yep. free of that. So, yep. um, and then, uh, let me see. Then you can use different flavors. So you can go to Amaretti. Um, or you can go to, you know, different sources like here, for example, is, uh, we have, oh, or USD organic. Um, these are organic tinctures that we had, by the way. Um, so you want to make sure that you have the organic label, um, which means that this peppermint oil was grown organically extracted according to the organic, um, principles. Mm -hmm. And then to us in this beautiful package here that then we could put into an organic product to show, Hey, look, we're hundred percent organic. I love that. Yeah, it's, it's it's great. And so this is very, very concentrated peppermint oils. You can also get non-organic, and those would be like in fruity flavors and things like that. Um, like, for example, uh, here's here's lemon oil, mm. terpene-less lemon oil. Here's some cassia oil, for example. That's more like cinnamon, cinnamony. Chocolate mm. cream de cacao. Yeah. Look at here's sassafras. Oh, yeah. Sassafras fruit. That's we, awesome. should, we should make we should put that sassafras in there and see. Oh, <laughs> you're, you're okay. Awesome. And then uh, we've been doing a lot with like um, you know like hot flavors. Like I think I really think that um, you know like fusion. You know yeah. you have like you have uh, you know you know the fusion cooking. Yeah. I think that that is really a great way you know to have that in like tinctures and things. So I mean if you can you can mix and match like hot and you know. Sweet. The, the four essences, you know, uh, uh, sweet, sour, um, Salty. earth, air, fire, water. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? Something along those lines. So you can have that in there and where it would, you know, develop over time. So, yeah, uh, the taste and all the flavor. Okay. And by the way, Samantha loves our geek. Okay. Uh, Your uh, geek, not my geek. Your geek. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let me see here. We got uh, isolate here. Okay. This is some of our raw products. So. Here's some isolate. So that's what that looks like. It looks beautiful white and it's, uh, and then we have, it's kind of fun when they dry it and they just, here's some, here's some distillate. Okay. So that's some distillate. So we would, we would make that up and the distillate. Here's some winterized oil. So again, all of these are decarboxylated here. You can see how they're kind of flowing there. Um, then this is, yeah. And then that's crude, crude, you know, smell, smell this crude. Oh, it, the, I just love the smell of <laughs> CO2 crude is so, smells so wonderful. It just does. It, it just really smells good. Yeah. Look how thick that is. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I, I just like, okay. It looks weird for me just sitting there smelling it. <laughs> but if I, if I can oh, yeah. get that into a, you know what I you mean? You move it around. You can really smell yeah. that. I, I, it's CO2 very CO2 crude smells rich. so good. Oh, and then, you know, the winter eyes, crude. again, it just kind of, you lose a little crude. bit of that beautiful um, so if I was to make a tincture, um, you know, yeah. making with like making it with like crude is actually a really great, great idea. So, Hey, we got, we got ourselves. Are we making it? Yeah. We are got we ourselves a little bit of alcohol here. You can see that little tiny bit of alcohol tincture here that we're making. Okay. Now you don't have to use, uh, only alcohol. In fact, uh, let me talk to you a little bit about what the difference is between an, an alcohol tincture and what is known in the marketplace as a, as, as a tincture. Usually um people don't use alcohol because it's there's shipping issues and all that stuff and mm -hmm. so what they use is other excipients like coconut oils like mct oils or sweet almond oil or they'll use glycerin or something along those lines okay usually you want to stick with an oil uh you we can use hemp oil too yeah we have a whole bunch of hemp oil we like do organic hemp oil here um, that's a really great way to do it too usually the hemp oil is green um and you know it comes out green um, that's the organic stuff. Um, but most people, I mean, if you look at the labels and you read the labels, uh, most people are using an uh, MCT, which is a, um, a medium chain triglyceride. Um, and you know, it has its own, actually MCT oil has its own health benefits. You can go up on, on the web and look those up. So a lot of people are using those. 
Um, so it doesn't always have to be alcohol. It it solves a lot of problems. Is you don't have to you know store a lot of Everclear or food grade eth yeah. ethanol. So um, okay. So uh, so how are we making this? Well, I I don't know. I think what we're gonna do first of all, we're gonna just taste it. Okay. And then and I'm gonna use one of these little. Beakers? Yeah, we're gonna take. Yeah. So here it is. Here's the. So he, let me take a look at this if you can real quick. So this is the extracted material, and you would it's not fully extracted for sure. But you can see that all of that ethanol there is still stuck we'll in the in yeah in in the matrix there. It's really hard to get out. So you'd have to centrifuge it or something to get it out of there. I can't wait to go to the matrix. Uh, matrix. Here we go. Oh well, um, <laughs> I didn't smell that like a chemist. You want to know how a chemist is supposed to smell stuff here? I'll show you. Yeah, there you go. You, oh, you got it. You got it. That's how it feels. Yeah. So okay, here you get a little beaker and I get a little beaker. Beaker, beaker, beaker. I want half of it and you get half of it, and then we're going to use that as our base. Try out some stuff here. Okay, I'm having fun. I don't know about everybody here. I, I know, I see there's a lot of people on, on the show. Sorry, uh, but I'm having a lot of fun. I hope I hope you guys are okay. too. Okay, well, bottoms up, man. Yasu. Okay, a little tiny bit under the tongue. Maybe I, I think I'm going to do this instead. What? Yeah, I'm going to try this. I'm not going to try the whole thing. What? No way. Don't no. Wuss out. I'm going to try it a little bit under my tongue. <laughs> if you want a dropper, there's a I'm dropper going. there. Really? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna... Oh my gosh, that warm. Oh, it's very hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. That's a, uh, wow, that, that April, definitely, that's delaminating my April, tongue. April, can you reserve the cot for me? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a, that's what they call extreme burn. Woo! Oh my word. <laughs> okay, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. That's something else. Okay, so are we wimpy or? I mean, we don't drink Everclear. We drink whiskey, but not Everclear. Wow. I mean, okay, I that has great flavor though. I mean, other than the Everclear burn, but I you can really taste the flour. I you know what I think that is? I, I think what that is is that the oils that were on our tongue, I think that they're now desorbing and redissolving <laughs> into our mouth. Or that's just my tongue. <laughs> I, think be, I think you're dissolving your tongue altogether. <laughs> that's probably it. Ah. All right. Okay. So okay. this is up. Okay. This is not. Oh man, this Killing is terrible. It. Oh no, he's gonna do it. The... Okay, you got it. <laughs> Done. Okay. You could do that. Okay. Now <laughs> what we're gonna do here. I maybe... can did. It. I did it. It's you did it. You, what do you want to want a pin or something? <laughs> well, high five. Okay. Five it is. Okay. You know what we don't have is something to clear our palate in between. Oh. Or like. You know. I, I did actually. I had some water earlier. Oh really? Yeah. Here, I'm gonna try this. Be, before I tried this, I cleansed yeah. my palate. It's totally unsuitable. So it must just be the dissolving of my tongue in the Everclear. But. <laughs> you know, after this, no one's no one's gonna join our show again. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Are you kidding me? Everybody's gonna be on. All right. Here we go. Now we're gonna do some MCT stuff. Um, I think I think I could do here if we if we lit something I could go I could be a fire I'm gonna breather. Take a right fire breather. Here, pump me out a little MCT there. What? You? Yeah, pump me out a little. Oh. you just pull that up. Pull, pull this out. Yeah, pull it. Pull it up. No, no. Pull this up right here. Yeah, there you go. Pull this up. Yeah, just pull it up. I'm trying. Yeah. Okay. Just pull it all the way up. Okay. okay. There you go. There you go. I'll push it down. How much? Uh, just give me a little bit. I don't need a lot. There you go. Yeah. Okay, there it is. I think I might need some of that. <laughs> okay. Then I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna just just kind of like a. Uh, it's kind of like a, a buffet. So you can just go ahead and make. I'm gonna. This I'll tell you what I'm gonna buffet. do. I'm gonna put a little crude in there. Ooh. And, uh, oh yeah. my gosh! Now this crude is probably right around sixty percent. So you know, whatever. I probably, I probably have about a quarter mil in there, so it's not a lot. So I'll put that in there. <laughs> okay. Nice. And then I put a little bit of uh, I'll put a little bit of terpenes in there. Ooh. Is, I love it when he opens this jar. Yeah. This is, <laughs> wow. How would you like to have gallons wow. of this stuff? Just give us a call. Pick up the receiver. We'll make. I tell you what, our terp trap kills. I mean, when, great. and you can do that, and that is money. 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 You don't need a lot. No. You don't want to overpower it, right? No. I mean, you, you should smell like this. I, I mean, I cross contaminated. Oh my gosh. Okay. What kind of chemist are you? 
How many times are there? <laughs> <laughs> so you can see it's not dissolving. <laughs> Don't know. Okay, so it's a little bit. We dissolving. can we can do one of two things. Well, obviously, uh, you can heat it or you can chew uh, it. You can chew it. You, you can also <laughs> do a little bit of this. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Okay, I know exactly what to do. We'll put this in a little centrifuge tube. Uh oh. Okay, we're gonna mix it all together and we're gonna make it into one homogeneous solution. <laughs> I feel like a, a homogeneous solution. It's gonna be fun. I know I'm getting there. <laughs> okay, weehaw. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Total. Do, a little, do a little mixing. Oh, that's it. I might, I might have to add some ethanol to it to dissolve it. Possible. Oh, it is, you can see it is dissolving. A it is bit. dissolving a little just bit. Just needs some more time and some heat, probably. It Why probably needs just, some heat. Maybe you just pour some of this in. That's plenty of. Pour some of this in. Go ahead, make your own. Go ahead, make, make your own. <laughs> I'm going to blow something up. Here, this is some <laughs> sweet almond oil. I like the sweet almond oil. Oh, some Jared's there. Yeah, blow something up. Blow something up. <laughs> you can make an isolate one. I'm going to make a crude one. Go ahead. What Go ahead. Am, okay. All right. Well, Here, here's this. Oh. Yeah. Put oh. some sweet almond oil in there. Okay. I'm going to totally blow some Put a little bit of peppermint in there. And then uh, you're what gonna are you say? And okay. then maybe okay. put a little bit peppermint. of peppermint in there. What do you well, say? Whatever you want. Whatever yeah, you want. Well, I don't mind, but I mean, <laughs> am I, am I like, <laughs> am I distracted? I wasn't, I wasn't watching, so I didn't get it. <laughs> That's kind of fun. That's okay. <laughs> okay, that's that's enough of that. I, I we don't have heat, but that's how you would. How would you dissolve that? Uh, first of all, if you were using like vegetable glycerin, you have a very hard time getting it in. You'd have to heat it up, and it's not it's not really it's not really soluble very because it's not very soluble in vegetable glycerin. Okay, so um, you would need to do something with it. Within MCT oil, though, you can see it's it's dissolving, but it's slow. It's going to take a little bit of time to do that. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to actually take it out and then, and then fortify it with some, uh, isolate. Okay. All, all of these really cool tools. I have no idea. Yeah, I'm going to smell it first. Well, that smells great. Okay. Now I'm going to, um, there's my slight, I'm going to fortify this with some isolate. I think it's boiling and I, and there's no heat. Oh man. <laughs> this is an occasional listen. Like, what are you doing? No, I'm, what? No. Don't blow up the R and D lab. Yeah, they they will not let us in here anymore. <laughs> they kicked me out a long time ago. <laughs> I remember when we were doing our vape formulations. <laughs> we're sitting here all weekend long. This whole place, you could just all you couldn't see anything. You're like, boy, I, I'm really relaxed. <laughs> I got. We go outside, we take a nap, come back in. Okay. I do think at one point down the road, we need to take Ooh, you up. This is really good. And maybe next week, we'll make popcorn in the Gemco. Oh, yeah, we can do that. Oven. <laughs> we, have to, we have to pre, pre, pre look at that. All right. So in this, I have the peppermint. I put a little bit of our uh, flower tea from Nature's Crest, by the way. And then I put a little bit of distillate in here. And I know distillate is. So see what happens. Yeah, no, normally you would be taking notes, you'd be measuring everything out. Oh, I am. Um, like, a, like a good chemist would do. So that you would know what you I did. I am not a good chemist, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, this has got a lemon terpene uh, MCT, with, it should be very terpene. I'm gonna Whoa. try it, Whoa. it. it's all four, fortified. <laughs> wow. okay. did, I, did I tell you that you don't need a lot of peppermint? <sighs> That's a lot of peppermint. Okay. Okay. That's like, <laughs> okay. I won't have to brush my teeth for like a week, I think. <laughs> this, you'll be you'll be burping uh peppermint. Peppermint, yeah. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna try this one now. What'd you get? I, I made it in the right proportions, dude. Did you? Yeah. Whoa, Whoa this is good. Is it? Yeah. Um <laughs> will it cut the peppermint a little bit? <laughs> no, it's got, well, it's got, let me see here what it's got. It's got uh, lemon oil, terpeneless lemon oil. It's got a little bit of these terpenes. 
You know, uh, one thing about terpenes is, is that they do have a burning characteristic. Yeah. So you always have to limit them. It, this is especially when you're doing your vapors, uh, you want to make sure you limit your terpenes. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of burn. That's, that's, that's very lemony. It's very lemony. Can we try it? Yeah, sure. Maybe. That's a, quite the dropper. Did I make it? You did. <laughs> did I, I was a little worried. <laughs> that kind of flails. <laughs> mm, that's good. Lemon? Lemon? Uh, this definitely has, it, it's got a little bit of that lemon rind taste to it because I can taste in the back, like, you know, that's, like a lemon rind okay, to it. Okay, that's not lemon rind, it's zest. Oh, For those of you zest. who cook, it's called zest. Okay, all right. So yes. <laughs> that's what all you right. make. Oh, that's good. It, it definitely that was good it definitely way good. better than mine <laughs> way way so better this is this is basically a a isolate fortified um crude oil um mct with a lemon no yeah le lemon zest and lemon it, definitely, zest. it definitely has um it has lemonine in it for sure and lemonine. it's got a little little, little in it little, little which is kind of a, <laughs> a what little, little, which is a <laughs> A terpene, it definitely has it in there. that five times really oh, fast. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. And, it, and I put some of this in there too. I know, but it, see, that is sweet. Thank you for being here and thank you for enjoying our tincture creation mad scientist R&D lab here. Yeah. <laughs> so this is awesome. Let's, let's do a recap. Okay. Okay. First, uh, we, first we had a uh, a wonderful uh, presentation that I put together. Yes. Yes. It was really four slides. You yeah. said three. What, was it? Four it was slides? kind of a bait and switch. Okay. Okay. And then get the calculators. Go go on the calculators. Give us some feedback on them. Uh, things like that. Please do that. Um, and then we tried. You know, we did a, a an extraction, basically an ethanol extraction using Everclear and some stuff uh, and some of this. Uh, some of this blend here you can see it's still it's still in there you might want to extract it again and again but yeah you can do that with really good tea my dear friend does um uh, golden water turtle tea and you can you can fuse that like seven times so that's probably the same thing you can do yeah, here you yeah. can just keep pouring and, and running and go yeah so. and you can use um in terms of uh so that's one way to do it. If you're doing an ethanol extraction, you can use distillate, you can use crude, you can use isolate. Um, and then, you know, the... And you can totally get this stuff online. Just yeah. go... <laughs> just yeah, like Amaretti has all stuff. the flavors. I would... Okay, there's um, a couple different things. When you buy Amaretti flavors, be careful. You want to buy the oil-soluble flavors. You don't want to buy the water-soluble flavors because they, uh, they are not very miscible. In other oh. words, they won't really go into the cooking. Okay. And you, so you might say like, oh, I like that flavor. I like that flavor. And then you have a whole bunch of them and they're like water soluble. So don't buy those. It, I'm just, say, I just saved everybody a hundred dollars. Oh, At there least. you go. Don't buy the water yeah, soluble. Water oh, soluble. hey, Barney has another quick question. Um, he didn't know terpenes burn. Oh, he did. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why would they burn? Well, they're, they're well, because they're organic. Uh, just like any, anything else organic will burn. Like uh, MCT oil will burn. Um, you know, if you light, you can light distill it on fire, obviously. So, so he's not talking about like ever clear burn that burns when you taste. Oh it. yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. No. He's talking about, you can light it on fire. Oh yeah. You can do that too. <laughs> you can do that too. Um, so it's a good thing. We don't have anything. Hey, 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 you know, okay. So I don't think I was involved in the formulation of these. Um, well, let me see here. Some... Is, is that about to change? <laughs> no, no, no. But the strawberry one is actually quite good. And I still have a lot of lemon. So if I if I took this, would I have lemon strawberry? Yes, of course. I'll have peppermint strawberry. I'm gonna have peppermint spaghetti for dinner tonight, probably. <laughs> mm. Strawberry feels forever. Straw. Oh, I'm, I so want to sing. Oh, that should be next week's episode. No, no. Sing we're along, not, we're karaoke. Not sing along. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So then, um, <clears throat> an optimum thinner. For people looking. Oh, okay. Thinner. Yeah. To, to vape oils. Be very careful with thinners. Okay. The, you, do you guys remember the, um, the vape crisis? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, like for example, um, a lot, of, some of the compounds used in the thinners that were used, um, which, which are terpene thinner, thinners, uh, essentially, uh, were the vitamin E acetate. 
which was a, a problem. So be careful about what you're using. Look at the ingredients. And a lot of times people will say, oh, they'll, they'll say, okay, here's a terpene thinner for you. They won't tell you what it is. You can't use that because you don't know what it is. And someone might actually, uh, for vape, you know, sure. you might get in trouble. So don't use anything that you don't have, like, you know what everything, what it is. Sure. So yeah, just, just, and, and there's a- Just because I, it's healthy to ingest doesn't mean it's healthy to vape. That's correct. That's correct. And the other thing there is that if, yeah, I mean, people died because yeah. they took that vitamin E acetate, which is an oil, Yeah. you know, and they were vaping it. So yeah. So be yeah. very careful with the thinners because they're proprietary and people don't want to tell you what's in the thinner. You should never use that. So don't do that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for yeah. the hundred percent, Samantha. Awesome. And uh, Chris has a quick question about nano emulsification. Still yes. use oil-based, not water-based. Um, okay, so using water-based, you can use uh, like a water-based with a nano emulsion. That's great. I would do that. Um, we have some water-based, you know, like uh, one shots or something like that. We sure. didn't do that this time, but we we could have. And basically, sounds like a future soluble. episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can get all kinds of fruity flavors in there. Um, so um, those are typically uh, used in like uh, like water formulations, like uh, you know, like sodas and. Uh, seltzer waters and and like shots like uh, energy shots and things like that i know people also sell them as quote unquote tinctures uh, you know hmm. why not you know yeah. i can put it in the teas and things like that sure. so that also works um and there's a lot of different ways to nano emulsify okay um a lot of it involves like equipment um basically you need a high pressure homogenizer or a medium pressure or a low pressure homogenizer and you can get with a low pressure homogenizer you can get down to the micron level you're um, your water's going to be a little cloudy, um, and you're always going to taste it a little bit on the back of your tongue. Um, but you know, it works. Sure. Yeah. And then as you go down uh, into the nano size and, and the nano emulsions that are occurring, sometimes people use in a combination of, of emulsifiers, which are chemicals, which I, I'm not a big fan of, but you know, they're used in foods and things like that. Um, and, uh, what else there? And also high shear homogenization. Sure. So that's like equipment plus chemicals is what you need there. And it'll work. It works just fine. Um, we have done formulations that way. We have some great formulations along those lines. We could probably try, try some of those. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. So I love it. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so one of the other questions, uh, and by the way, Chris said they are using water. So sweet. That's sweet. Good, good, Chris. Okay. So next week we need to announce what our topic is for next week yeah I, i'm getting like and here's what are you thinking i don't know okay don't one know of the that. things that i've thought of i mean these are things that we need to do we can we've been in the r d lab here now um what about going outside we could what about shucking and bucking we could do that yeah uh, i mean that's an option yeah we i mean could. you know most of the crops are in now right yeah but that were that would probably be uh, like a harvest thing right so that would probably be more but they like need to a, be thinking about October. that yeah we could do that yeah what what they need what the tools are that are coming up mm -hmm. whether you're indoor or outdoor because now they have to start budgeting and thinking and what they're doing mm -hmm. and you know you want i'm a planner yeah okay that's fine i mean that that's something we could do we could do that um the other things that we can do is talk about you know um protocols between the rooms yep i mean there's a lot of things oh, which, well, we could talk about venting we can talk we could even go into you know some of the condensing uh -huh. potentially i don't think anybody you know our, our super technical topics. Yep. Those are those are those tend to you know there's uh, we could do some of those, but I think we just want to do like demonstrations and things like that. So yeah. what do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I so love it. what what do you what do you what what is your muse? Any we'll thoughts, guys? Any thoughts out there? We'd love to hear from you. Yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> otherwise, it'll be a surprise. We will be announcing it in a couple of days. What we're doing. Right. And it's one of these three topics. Right. So let's go. All right. Well done. Thank Great you. show. Thank you for being here. Look at all our resources, calculators, mini courses, our blog posts, white papers, everything. They're out there for you to use. Congratulations again to Adam Young in Colorado Springs, our winner of the grab bag. And we're going to get you some rubber gloves. Um, <clears throat> also, thank you for all of your questions. This has been awesome. It has been fun. <clears throat> and this is our favorite part of being here. Actually, just kind of... <laughs>
doing this stuff. It's a blast. Yeah, it's... And it was fun. They finally let me out and into this room. I've been dying <laughs> to be here. So thank you. Uh, go to YouTube, look at all of our resources. Thank you, thank you, thank you again for being here. There will be a replay, so share this with your friends. We love it, uh, and this will be out there. Uh, and we'll reach out to sample winners for today, okay? So there's gonna be samples, so we will be reaching out to you today if you're a winner. So, well, you're all winners because you're here. Right. Uh, we're winners because you're here. All I right. think so. All right, man. Thank you. See ya. Are you stuck in your hemp or cannabis business? Are you not reaching your processing goals? Here at Extract Lab, we offer a free 20 minute CBD jam session. A CBD jam session is a conversation with an industry expert, not a sales call. A conversation where you can talk to us about whatever issues you are having right now and where you are stuck. We will help you uncover any issues you are currently having in your business, create a solution to fit your current scale, develop a future scale-up plan based on your needs, and help you make your processing goals a reality, all while getting your business plan back on track. Schedule your free 20-minute CBD Jam session at 1-651-600. 0036. Again, that number is 1 651 600 0036.